Hello, hello everyone, this is Kiryu Show here, and this upload's gonna be later in my day. I don't know if it's later than my usual upload, but I have been busy outside, and I just got out of the shower, because I had to clean off a lot of leaves, a lot of mud, and a lot of dirt. Yeah. I'm allergic to a lot of the stuff outside of our house. That's fun. Especially with asthma, that just makes it worse. Allergic reactions aren't fun. Now, because of that, I probably spent a good 30 minutes in the shower. So, that makes this upload a little bit. That makes this upload later than I wanted it to be. Which I do not enjoy. Now, I'm going to be at work tomorrow for eight hours and a lot of my weekend. So, I might only be uploading two to three videos tomorrow, along with the next day. But, to make up for that, I'm going to try and finish this what if, and at least start another one. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that I have been talking about my Deku Ten quirks. And I'm going to be going into a lot more detail with the World of My Hero Academia and actually adding on to some plot threads I think would actually make the story a bit more interesting. Because I I think about a lot of the what-ifs I do and things I can add here and there to actually... like I like to add like little details I've seen in the stories that I think are really cool. So I add them into the what-ifs. I just do it differently. Now... Let's get into the what if. May and Deku are in the garage. <coughs> What's well, the there? Anyways, they're in the garage. It's been nearly almost a week, and they have started working on a lot of projects. Now, one project they are working on is a specialized hero suit that May and Deku have been getting a lot of scrap metal for, and just putting together. This is whenever Kirishima and a lot of other people would be coming by because they wanted to go see Deku and see what he does for training, and just see what's going on. This is whenever they would be hearing the ruckus going around in the garage, and they would come in. They would then see Deku with his goggles as he's welding something, and May is essentially putting parts together. They wouldn't realize it's Deku until he turns around. And this is whenever they would be looking at them. And this is whenever May would walk up next to Deku saying that they didn't expect to see anyone from class during the whole two weeks. Well, during this time. Like, what? It's only, what? They've only been in here. It's been, like, a really busy day. They haven't really left the garage at all today. This is where they would say it's still, like... Let's say they would ask if it's still a Monday. People would just tell them that it's a Thursday or a Friday. They would then look at each other and immediately just start laughing somewhat. And people are a bit concerned by this. Because they essentially have not been sleeping. Now then, this is whenever the Deku would actually show them a small parts of the project they're working on, a couple of gauntlet pieces and other things, along with a small capture item and a weird looking device. It essentially just looks like a lot of metal rods poking out, sticking on what looks like a spinal column, or a man-made spinal column of metal. Kirishima is saying that that looks pretty cool and a lot of stuff like that, but... Why are all these weird tubes doing on them? Deku would say that they found a way to create a... It's almost... The power source is a bit weird, but... A lot of the ways these devices work is... They look like they're steam-powered, and they are a little bit, but... The steam power, not only does it make it look practical, and a bit more detailed, but... 
it actually helps the efficiency and the way the gear works because it kind of warms up the gear to the point where if you touch it, it would kind of burn, but the person inside the gear will not get hurt or affected by this because they'll be wearing a specialized suit. <sighs> well, they're wearing the person inside the gear is wearing a specialized suit and they know the proper motives to control it and we have a good power source. But it's still a bit testy. And what they mean by that is they would then show off eight giant AA batteries, like car batteries, saying that these are the types that they would use to like power tanks. Well, like two of these giant batteries. So you basically have to like, carry them in like a backpack. Let's say they're about the size of a suitcase each. People are looking at them and they're asking how much they weigh. Becky would tell Kirishima to try and pick one up. Kirishima would immediately try this and have it fall on the ground. And he cannot pick it up at all. Deku would immediately just grab it and lift it up off the ground with one arm, sending it back in the area they had it over, the, the area they needed to put it anyway. Kirishima would ask Deku, like, what does he do for training and a lot of stuff like that. Deku would just say he does his usual training, but he just usually just helps move a lot of the stuff in the shop around. So they're trying to do all that. Kirishima... Kirishima would ask Deku to spar with him. They, Deku is wearing a tank top. He's got... If you've ever seen Mei's um, usual style, she usually has like her flame retardant suit tied around her waist. So he'd have the same thing. And he has his goggles on. He's saying that he doesn't think that's a good idea. Because he might be on a whole different level than Kirishima. Kirishima would say that that's ridiculous, and Deku would just punch him in the face, sending him a bit flying through a tree. Now, after that, Kirishima would then get up and shake off a bit of a concussion. Deku would immediately just walk back into the garage saying that he'll fight him during the sports festival, and he just needs to get stronger then. He just needs to get back to work. They would all try and stick around, and Deku would just tell them if they're not going to help them work, just you can train by moving around equipment they are no longer using. So they're doing some of that. They're doing all that. They're watching as these two spent literally half a day working on just two or three devices at one point. And eventually... It's around 3 in the morning and everyone's asleep as these two are still working. Oh god. I'll be right back. No, it's around 3 in the morning and this is whenever... Kirishima and... Crap, I said Kirishima, Mina, Denki, and... I think Jiro? I said... The names of four people, I'm pretty sure, but if not, that was who all came with the, with them. They would all wake up to hear a booming sound as Deku and me and May are actually just saying that they finally got it. It's finally working. They're going on a whole tangent. Basically, it's alive. It's alive. Their baby is alive. And while being still half asleep, Everyone's just trying to like say their baby. Wouldn't that make them a couple or married or something like that? These two would immediately look at each other and just start waving their hands. No, no, that's not. That's yeah, technically prop. I think so, but they're not a couple. And May would just say that. Well. If it's their baby, then they basically might as well be a couple, right? And she would then pull Deku in for a kiss. Now, she's then saying that she needs to work on that later, then. Because he's not a very... 
Very good kisser. Yes, that is a little bit of a filler event. And I know the anime does have those, so I like to do a little bit of those. So, it works out. Anyways, Deku's dad comes in saying that they need to calm, like, quiet down and just, like turn that thing off because they are getting noise complaints more and more often. And it's not fun having to explain that his son is working on hero equipment in the garage. Which, which basically, it wouldn't give them a pass, but they would understand... Because young heroes often would do that. So. Now then. They would continue working and actually end up to the point where Mei and Deku would have passed out. Actually with wrenches in hand and Coco and the other. Coco and the other. They would not be like this. But they'd be more oily and greasy looking with Deku wearing his goggles and May still actually wearing her prototype ones that she used against Bakugo and Bakugo and Ida during the fight for the heroes versus villains. Now then, after that, they would have woken up and they would have just immediately gulp down their cold drinks and get back to work. Now, Deku's dad would eventually have come into the garage telling them that it's the day of the sports festival and that they need to get cleaned up. Because he would have woken them up early to try and get them cleaned up. They would have done that. Deku would have used his strength to actually carry a lot of their equipment and load it up onto Load it up into a U-Haul and actually just take it over to the to the event. Now then, after that would happen, May would get the appropriate information for her hero stuff signed off signed off on, and Power Loader would be commenting on a lot of the stuff she's made is actually very weird and is very unique. Because some of it she, he's probably. Some of it he recognizes, but some of it also has different designs in it. Now, after getting all that stuff signed off on, this is whenever they would try turning some of it on. Realizing that their batteries. Well, one of their batteries isn't working. So Deku is to immediately ask them to come over here and plug the battery into them. As he basically charges the battery, Deku would just say thanks and he owes him a favor. Now then, Deku would say that, well, does this favor include walking it, like walking out of the ring during the fights? Deku would say, sorry, but no. Deku would then say that, fine then, at least like try and help him like be a proper hero. Deku would say that that is going to be harder than he thinks. Because it's already too late to get anything signed for the sports festival. So just, he would then point his finger out like a finger gun saying that, try firing your energy, like your lightning like this, like an old six shooter from the Wild West movie. Or something like that. He would say that he'll think of more ways for him to use his quirk. And he'll help him figure that all out after the sports festival. Or at least during the... After the whole... Before the combat exam stuff, he'll help him figure it all out. So... Wait. I have an idea, actually, before we stop. Why don't you just try doing what I do with my quirk? He would then power up one for all, saying that just try letting it flow throughout your entire body. He would do that, and he would find that it's somewhat uncomfortable, but somewhat plausible. 
Do it then thank Deku and immediately leave. Because I want to say his quirk could probably at least boost his power like that, like an enhancement quirk. Because one for all generates electricity and so does common eye. So why couldn't he just enhance his speed like that? Hmm. Now then. Ah, oh, crap, I don't have a picture of them for this. Okay, I will find a picture of them in the, in the next part. Anyways. The race would begin and May would actually have these specialized things that are on her feet. They are essentially a form of running shoes. Now, if you guys have ever seen like the jackrabbit shoes that certain athletes would wear that make them very fast, these are essentially an advanced form of those. And her and Deku would take immediate part in the starting line. And they would begin. Todoroki would fire the ice as Deku immediately just smashes through it at 50% and takes off running. Now, he's running and so is Kaminari along with Mei. And this is whenever people are commenting that Denki... Denki's smarter than he looks with his quirk. Jiro would just say, no, he isn't. He just asked Deku questions. Yeah. Now... After that, May would actually be more. She would be more heroic with her gear, so she's not looking just to be caught by big time companies with hero that work with Hero Tech. So she's actually running through a lot of the stuff, and I want to say she would have tried adding missiles or not missiles, but rocket boosters to a bit of these, or at least somewhat like um, the whole thing. She tried getting Eda to use. She'd probably have a better portion of it, like a jetpack, kinda. So she would have been leaning into her running stance. And she's actually running with these mechanical parts on her. So it's almost like an exoskeleton, but hooked up differently. So she's actually moving very, very fast. Now, she would have come in second place as Kaminari, still trying to get used to his new own version of full cowling and Deku would come in first, obviously, as Todoroki barely got past the robots. Now, the cavalry battle, this is my favorite part. Deku and Mei would obviously be on a team together, but she would bring out more for different hero gear. Now, what I mean by that is, she would then bring out, what is it? Where is my picture at? She's wearing a skin type bodysuit sort of like this, but she also has more of the bulky looking steampunk style of this one. While well, she has the designs kind of like that for the feet and the arms. Along with the somewhat mask like that covering part of her face. And the wing style to this one. Now, this is an experimental version of flight that she created, and Deku actually focused on helping her with that, but not only is that a part of it, but it's got sort of the steampunk style of that one. Now, why is her creation very steampunk? Well, I think everyone already knows why, but she's talking to Deku while she's got a lot of this gear on, and it looks very weird. People keep staring at her, and Mineta will not stop drooling. Deku just looks over at Mineta as he would just hear his neck crack in doing so, and Mineta would immediately just crap his pants. And be disqualified. Because he would just run out of the stadium. Now then, it's May, Kaminari, Soji, and Deku on the team. Soji's more inclined to join Deku's team because he's actually got some power behind him along with a lot of strategic a lot of strategy. And Kirishima's on this team because Deku's a manly man. So he'd honestly be on his team. Tetsu Tetsu probably taking Bak well Kirishima's place in canon as Bakugo's horse. Now, a lot of people want to attack Deku, but Deku would just ask Kirishima how hard can he make his skin. He would just say very, and Deku would immediately just pick him up by the legs, using him like a bat. 
basically beating one motherfucker with another motherfucker. Yes. I really wanted to do that joke in the last part for the heroes versus villains. But I saved it for this one. So he's just swinging him around, doing all that. And Karashima is just trying not to puke as he went straight up stiffy mode squad. I I need my glasses and I need coffee. Because I'm very sure I am very lightheaded. Now then. After that, Kirishima's trying not to vomit as they were crowned the winners. And May's, May is sort of disappointed, but she's happy that she was able to use her tech. And she would have been able to see that a lot of people in the stands or in the boxes are actually looking at her tech. And they're looking very puzzled and confused because it's essentially designs that they don't really recognize very well. So she'd actually get way more offers than you think. But not yet. Hmm. 